Hello and welcome to today's math class. Today we have this challenge before us here. Um, and the question is n to the power of 9 all over m to the power of 10 equal to 171. What is the value of n and m that we actually satisfy this challenge? When I saw this challenge at first, uh, in fact, it gave me what I call goose peoples. And I have to do a lot of research before I could figure out uh, one or two things. So I want you to stay to the end of this class because we're going to have about two series of solutions to um, uh, this uh, challenge here. So how do we solve for this? Let's take our solution first here. Now, if you check out this question, we are having n to the power of 9, and here we have m to the power of 10. So the power here, the denominator power is greater than our, our numerator power. But here we are having this to be 171, which is positive. So what does that imply? It shows that, or it means that our n is greater than our m. So if n must be greater, greater than our m, how do we figure this out here? If you decide to multiply through by m to the power of 10, then you're going to have some challenge. If you decide to divide through by n to the power of 9, you also have a great challenge here. So what best to do here is this. I try to uh, use um, a simple logic to uh, solve this. Okay. Now, if you look at this, because here it's positive, we can write this if we have our 1, um, 7, 1 here, okay, to the power of, here we are having nine right so let's put in to the power of nine in here then all over one seven one to the power of eight this will give us one seven one right but the problem is this this first one or the numerator here works out but look at the denominator we are having 10 here so we are going to figure out figure out our answer within this domain here now we're going to figure out at our answer within this domain. So how do we express this very guy here to give us our 171? So in this regard, we say, um, let, let's say, let K, want to put K into the system, let K um, uh, be a uh, real number, be any real number, let's say any real number, right? So if we have K to be any real number, then let's try to bring out k, raise this power, because it's this power here and this power here that is a challenge. So we can now have this to be 171 raised to the power of, let's take 10k, then minus 1, right? Good. All of our, our 171 to uh, the power of yeah, let's take my k minus 1. Let this be equal to our n all over our m. Okay? So if we have this and we said let it be, let k be any real number. So if k is our integer, then if we decide to put in 0 in here, then it is going to give us 0 minus 1. We come up here yeah, and here we're going to also have minus 1. So for your natural number to be a zero here, this will not work out. So if it is one, what happens? So here it is going to give us our 10 minus one, then this will give us nine, then nine minus one will give us eight. So we have 10 all over nine, that will give us one, one, seven, right? Good, and again, if we go beyond that, we're going to run into some problem. They may not satisfy the answer, okay? But for here, we can see, therefore, that our n is equal to, this is a general expression for our n, then our m is equal to 171 to the power of my k minus 1. So we're going to hold this as one of the answers. So let's keep this because we got the correct answer from one of the 
natural numbers when substituted into k. All right. Now, the second method apply. Let's look at this as second method. The second method applied to this is this. I, if I pick this, 171 can be split into 3 to the power of 2 times our 19. Okay, so this will give us our 171. Then, the approach here is similar to the first one. Okay, this is the first one. Let's take this as our, our first method. This is the first method. So from here, the second method, I want to take k again, okay? I want to say, let k be any uh, natural number, right? If k is any natural number, then we can now split this to give us here our 3 times 19 times our 19, then times our k, right? All over the same 3 times 19 times k or so let this be equal to n all over m then the question is the power to what power do we raise this quantity here and these quantities here it is easy i read this i raise this to power 8 then this to power 9 and this to power 10. Then here, I raise this to our power 7, then this power 8, and this power 9. Remember, our k belongs to a set of natural number. So if we look critically, so we can say here that our n is equal to 3, 3 to the power of a, then times 19 to the power of 19, sorry, 9, then times our k to the power of 10, to the power of 10, and our m is equal to 3 to the power of 7 times 19 to the power of 8 times k to the power of uh, 9. Yeah. So this is a general solution to solving this also. This one of them, this another one. Now among these two, which do you consider the best? Again, if you have a better way of solving this challenge, drop into the comment section. I want to see your comments in the comment sections. Thank you for being there once again. Bye.